Hi, Beth. Dr. Paul Cox is a double board certified physician in anti-aging and family medicine with 15 years of experience in outpatient and inpatient medicine. Six weeks from the gotcha. procedure then is when you'll repeat your labs. Dr. Cox holds a master's degree in exercise physiology and is available for consults or as a primary care physician. His philosophy is that your health is your most valuable asset and the goal is to teach you the science behind a spectacular second half of your life. Okay. Are there any more questions? No, is there? Okay. I'm good. Great, I'm good. it's good to see you Beth. All right, All right. take care. Bye bye. This goal is reached through the use of state-of-the-art healthcare driven by the latest medical evidence which Dr. Cox feels can turn back the hands of time. Thank you. Sure. You know, Doc, I'm really glad we're able to sit down and get all this information out. I sat down with him recently to talk about his approach to aging, health, and hormones. Doc, tell me why it was so important for you to make these videos. It's just really important because I think people don't understand what their options are. You know, they go to the doctor now and they get five minutes of somebody's time, maybe 10 minutes max if they're lucky. Mm -hmm. They walk out with the prescription for maybe an antidepressant or somebody's telling them, well, you know, you're just getting older, this is what you can expect. And there's just so much more information out there that people need to know so that they can really make an informed choice about how they want to live their lives. So when you see a patient for the first time, what are the most common complaints? Most of the time when somebody comes to see me, the complaints are generally clustered around hormonal deficiencies. And for women, that would mean menopause, of course. And when we talk about menopause, the symptoms are the most common, of course, hot flashes or night sweats, but there's more. There's irritability, there's depression, there is moodiness, there's mood swings, there's forgetfulness, um, there's weight gain, uh, just not feeling like yourself, low energy levels, and people just tell me all the time that I just feel like I'm getting old and I want to feel like myself again, but I don't know how to do that. That's a lot of different symptoms. Does everyone experience all of those? Not necessarily. There are some women that I see who don't have hot flashes or night sweats at all, but they may be forgetful. They may not have a desire to be sexually intimate. There are other women who have hot flashes and night sweats and they have had them for 10 years and they keep getting told they're going to go away and they don't. And they don't go away. Exactly. <laughs> or, you know, there are patients who come to me and say, you know, I haven't changed the way I've eaten, I haven't changed the way I'm working out, and yet I've gained 10 pounds and it's all right here. Where did it come from? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. So it's very varied. You know, there's all kinds of different ways that these symptoms present for people. Or somebody will say to me, I can't, you know, I, I walk into a room, I can't find my sunglasses, they're on my head. These problems are so common, why are they coming to see you for treatment instead of going to maybe their internist or their gynecologist? I think it's the education and I think it's the time. When I sit down with somebody, I, I spend an hour with them in the initial consultation and we talk about what happens when your hormones go away mm -hmm. and what are the signs and symptoms of those hormones going away. What are the treatment options and choices for you based on your medical history and your family history? And which one would you choose? And that's really important when you are in a traditional medical environment where you have 15 minutes and that 15 minutes, the goal of most visits, let's be honest, is the maintenance of compromised health by prescription, then it's a different feel. We are working for each person to give them an optimal life and optimal health, what happens normally is that we're putting band-aids on symptoms because it's all the time we have to do. Okay.